Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm visiting my alma mater, UC Berkeley. One of my friends is having a grad photo shoot for his graduation from grad school, so that's why I'm around to visit. I graduated from UC Berkeley back in 2021 and I booked it right out of there after I graduated. So I haven't been back in like over two years. I'm very curious to see how everything has changed, whether campus is lively again uh, after the pandemic and how everything is right now. Uh, the game plan for today is I'm gonna get lunch then I'm going to walk around campus and then finally take photos with my friend. Very excited to be here and let's see how everything is right now. We're at Mezzo, my favorite salad place, and we just got like a chef salad. Uh, it looks really, really good. I'm super excited. This was like my go-to salad place uh, when I was a student in Berkeley. This one salad would feed like two people, so it becomes like really good value. And it was always a good time, so I'm excited to eat. Let's begin. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. You're gonna see it out of the bowl. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it's still so good. Mm. I feel so bougie. Like, I've never gotten protein in my Nesma salad before. <laughs> we have the money now. Couldn't afford it as a broke college student, so. Do you know how much extra it was? Two, three dollars. Honestly, not the worst in the world, but mm. I always found it very filling without it. Yeah, yeah. Last bite. We devoured that salad. So good. Feasted. Honestly, it makes me super nostalgic. I used to come to Mezzo all the time. I'd eat. Usually, just put a slider with a friend, and it's always a good time to catch up with somebody right after the gym or something. Split a nice salad, and then you walk out feeling like you're full, but not in a disgusting way. You feel like really healthy and like refreshed. So. Honestly, my favorite salad place of all time. If you're in Berkeley, you should come to Mezzo. We just finished lunch and we're on our way for our post-lunch boba classic Berkeley special. It's kind of nostalgic to be back here, honestly. What did you usually get at Funta? Lightly roasted Ulan because you introduced me to it. <laughs> that was my favorite. Remember I tried the dirty bubble here before? It was like good, but like, it was kind of like its own dessert meal. It's like too much. Yeah, I kind of have too much of it now. And they only have one size now. Oh, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> nice. Oh, that's so good. Mm. That's actually so good. <laughs> so mine is 100% and then hers is uh, 70%. Let's see what the difference is. This is good. I think I like 100% yeah. better. A little bit more flavor. Yeah. Mm. This is the uh, lightly roasted oolong tea uh, with boba and like just regular milk, I guess. Yeah. I usually get it with 100% sugar and then 30% um, ice. So just kind of diluted a little bit, but one of my favorite drinks and one of my favorite boba places of all time. Definitely recommend. <laughs> now it's time for us to take a walk through campus and reminisce a little bit. walking right next to the Glade. So nice seeing that there are like people here again, honestly. We got a little bit tired, so we took a quick break in the physics building. Um, and now we're gonna go see the cherry blossoms because it's springtime. Take some nice pictures before meeting up with one of our friends for grad photos. Catch you guys there.
just finished uh, taking pictures with our friend Ethan. And now we're really tired, but we're gonna grab some dinner. Woo! Woo! Toppings. <laughs> Lactate? Lactate. Essentials. We had slivers and we're so hungry. <laughs> oh my god, wait, they gave us three slivers. Isn't it only two usually? Nice. Cheers. The, the fun part about slivers is they give you these little small slices, literally called slivers. Little extra pieces. Oh, pizza. <laughs> I'll get us some napkins. Yeah. Not focusing. <laughs> That's so good. Mm. I think the sauce got better. <laughs> so good. It really so good. Cheese bowl. Cheese bowl. <laughs> I remember when I would fold the pizza like this and you roast me for it. <laughs> It's, that's weird. People people hold it like this. It's fine. Other like, way, it was like no. It's spicy. No, but yeah. Everything got spicier. The chipotle hot sauce. This. <laughs> what did we get? Weaker. We just weaker. Yeah. Shells of our former selves. Yeah. Before I did like hot Cheetos. Forget the sauces. That's a little snack for later. Just finished dinner. The pizza of the day at Sliver was a tomato and red onion pizza. And it went so well with the pesto sauce they had. I'm really glad I got to get Sliver again after all these years. Still tasted as good as ever. I'm full, I'm happy, and I just have one last stop before I leave Berkeley. I'm gonna be getting some buns for tomorrow breakfast from Shinky, one of my favorite bakeries at Berkeley. Buns have been secured. Bye Berkeley, catch you next time. <laughs>